it's like you're lit. Hey guys, it's a new Monday, it's a new week. Um, it's Monday the 28th of August. Sorry, I look like this. I don't know what happened, honestly. <laughs> it's the last week before school starts again, before I start my final year of college, which is really, really, really crazy. I'm actually going back to school this week, but I will tell you about that later. I kind of have to hurry. Um, I'm currently at my parents' house, but my friend and roommate Martina is coming over. Or not coming over, she's on her bike right now, on her way, because we're going to run some errands in the city center. We also live together where our parents live, and we live together where we both study, so that's or not. I mean, we don't live together. Uh, I'm not making sense. I just have to go. <laughs> They're setting up. Ooh, I just walked in a plant. <laughs> They're setting up the fair, and I'm with Martina, going to the city center. I'm walking. It was gebruikt for my bullet journal. Running errands, break time. Half already. Um, we're sitting outside with the frikandel broodjes, which are the... Yeah, sorry, how about that? Yeah, <laughs> that, Okay, hi guys, I'm sorry for the sound. My mom is vacuuming, like, right outside of my door. So I don't know if this is the best time to do this little haul. And with little, I mean tiny, because I really didn't buy that much. I just needed to get some... I really... Did I even... Yeah, I needed mascara. <laughs> I went to the Kuitvat, which is a Dutch drugstore, and it's awesome. I don't know how well you can hear me. I'm gonna be quick. <laughs> First of all, I bought a um, like a highlighter brush. Fuck me. I just realized I bought a brush kit like a year ago and I've never even touched it. And there's probably a brush in like this. Also, I don't know why I bought it since I don't actually own a good highlighter. I bought underwear, more underwear. <laughs> More underwear, bought some candy because I have this really cute like candy jar in, in my other room, in my college room, which I wanted to put in it, but I already started eating it. We bought this um, like stamp set, and they have really cute stamps like a cactus, the moon. I thought this would be good for bullet journaling because I really want to start doing that soon. Also, this is from uh, Diana Leiflong, which is a Dutch YouTuber, and she just recently launched a back to school collection. Thingy, so I really like that <laughs> and then finally I bought two mascaras these are normally like 16 euros when you buy them in the Netherlands and I bought it for five euros and I don't know why I didn't stock up on them when I was in the US stupid and I also bought a really cheap essence mascara it's the maximum definition volume mascara with a flexible brush this one is honestly so underrated like it's so cheap I think like two maybe three euros so damn good. It has a really like I'm, I don't want to open it right now, but it has a really um, like not as thick of a brush as the other one, and therefore it also doesn't have that much mascara on the brush, which I on the brush, which I like because normally when I get mascara, it's all like clumped up. So yeah, this is a really good one if you want to go for a good cheap mascara. Hey guys, it's currently Tuesday, I think. Um, like I said yesterday, I was actually going to school this week. I will quickly give a little explanation. Basically, um, I signed in for two resets this week, uh, which were for my previous school year, for my uh, junior year. Um, during my exchange semester, I unfortunately didn't pass one course. For some reason, that meant I would have to um, reset two subjects back at my own home university because I need to reset a certain amount of ECTS, which is credits. So basically I signed in for two exams. One was Spanish, the other one was cross-cultural studies. I could decide myself when, like what exams I wanted to do, but then later I realized just doing the exam isn't enough. Like just to get three ECTS for Spanish would mean an exam and an oral, and I need six. So I had Spanish and the CC, the course cultural studies, so the exam wouldn't be enough for that one either. I feel like I'm not making sense. Basically, I sent out a bunch of emails to teachers, and I just got an email from my Spanish teacher. It seems like she's really trying to help me out, which is great. Um, so what I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do two Spanish, ugh, I can't even talk. I think I'm gonna do two Spanish uh, resets, 
so I'm gonna do Spanish 3, that's what it's called, and Spanish 4. Um, for both, I would have one exam and one oral, so that would mean a total of six ECTS, which is what I need. Um, one of the exams is actually this Friday, sort of, it's quite vague. <laughs> it's this Friday if I'm gonna do it as a reset, reset from the third year. But it's also in like seven weeks if I would do the exam with people that are currently in their third year. Does it make sense? Not at all. And then also yesterday or the day before yesterday, I saw an email like, Hi guys, um, let me know if you're in the course management, then you you can start studying. Here's all the stuff you need for the reset. And I was like, what the fuck? Um, that was an exam I unfortunately didn't pass in my sophomore year. Apparently... There's a reset this week on Thursday I didn't know about so I started to freak out and I checked to see um, who else the teacher sent the email to so I saw one of my friends and I quickly texted her like what what is this when is this exam uh, and she was like yeah blah blah oh and I, I, she made a really vague vague story so I was like oh I was really confused I thought we had the exam like tomorrow or something and she was like haha no it's on Thursday and I was like what I didn't even know I signed up for this exam. I'm quite sure I'm not signed up because every time we have exams, we have to sign up for it. And if you don't, you can sign in later, but then you have to pay a fee, which is ridiculous. Um, so I was like, what the fuck? So I checked the attendance list and I'm on the attendance list and it's literally in my registrations that I'm gonna do that exam. And I was like, what the hell? I didn't even, know. like, it's a good thing because I was kind of stressing out when and how I should do that exam since it's for my second year. I'm currently in my fourth year. This is a really compl complicated story, isn't it? So I was like, okay, that's nice because I know I failed the course twice. I failed the exam twice. I know it's a shit ton of work. So I'm kind of stressed out right now. It's currently Tuesday. Haven't been able to do anything for it yet. So um, Thursday is the, is the exam. Um, so what I'm gonna do is Thursday doing that exam management and on Friday Spanish. I'm gonna skip the cross-cultural studies. I think I'm just gonna focus on two times Spanish. So the other time I'll do Spanish will be another time, like not any, I can do, can I do it now? Hmm, I have to figure that out. Basically, <laughs> tonight I'm going to Breda, which is where I study, um, because my roommate really wanted to go she was actually supposed to meet up with her sorority, um, but she's not going anymore. But she still wants to go to Breda, just because Breda is a nice place. Like, my room here is, I don't really, yeah, I, I really love my room in Breda, so as she does too, so that's why we're going there. Um, so then I can also study over there. And yeah, a bunch of shit I need, still need to bring there. How am I gonna take this in the train? <laughs> also, I'm gonna take my Mac, I think, yeah. Definitely, but I'm kind of like I'm importing some footage on this one or not on this one, but on my USB um, It's so weird to sit behind this one right now This thing is huge now compared to this one even though I think this is the perfect size I was afraid it was gonna find this one too small, but it's perfect. But yeah It's really weird. I'll update you in a bit <laughs> Martina just got me a gift, a belated birthday gift. I was actually there when she bought this, but I'm still really excited oh, really Thank you. Look how cute for my room. This says, so happy to see you. And I feel like this is really accurate with the camera, you know? And I just really like this one as well. So, thank you. My idea is to put them over here. Um, so I'm gonna take that one away, I think. Uh, it's not really pretty. Um, but I think I will do it tomorrow since it's 9.30 and I don't know if my other roommates are sleeping or not. I'm so happy, except for that light bulb, with how my room turned out, honestly. Last year, I, or the previous years, I just didn't really put much effort in it, and now I kind of did. Currently, I'm unpacking my bags, so how fun is that? <laughs> ah. Martina and I just ordered food, and oh, I'm so excited. It's literally 11.30 p.m. But away. We both ordered a feet special. I didn't know they were so extremely big. No, oh, Martinez is really sad and they put it with ketchup instead of curry, which you're ketchup? never supposed to do. I'm sad. I don't know if we will like this, but we also bought a cop's home together. We really don't deserve this, but okay. <laughs> Honestly, we should have checked the refuse beforehand. It had a 2.9 out of a 10. A freaking 10. We know the pizzas over there. <laughs> Martinez's laptop makes such weird noises. We know the pizzas over there are super good, but 
this was just did you just see that <laughs> flying in the window that was really scary this kid has been crying outside for like 10 minutes, 10 minutes. <laughs> i'm currently studying and in this lecture was this video and i'm just <laughs> slightly <laughs> excited This lecture is lit! Summer in the Netherlands be like... Oh my god! I'm supposed to do groceries, like, soon. Damn! Okay, so I desperately need some food for today and tomorrow. Um, but it's raining pretty hard, so Martina and I are going to a grocery store that is really, really close, but they don't have that much. But we're really lazy, so let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Martina is like crying because she thought she put her phone in the washing machine. She didn't. Um, but hi guys, it's Thursday today. I look rather tired. Um, <coughs> rather tired. I think I told you guys what I'm doing today. It's really not that exciting. I'm gonna make an exam for three hours straight. It's a management exam that I failed twice, unfortunately. It's so much information. I feel like I didn't study it that well, but I feel like I really understand it a lot more than I used to. I don't know. I'm I'm just telling myself I can do this. <laughs> don't jinx it. I really have to go right now. This will be the first time I go back to school in half a year or something. I think in January I was there last to just say hi to my friends and then I left again. <laughs> This is not okay. How are we gonna take this home? I don't know. Okay, hi guys. I just got back from the exam. I honestly don't know how it went. Well, no, I keep saying that. I know it went shite, honestly. <laughs> um, I literally found out this Monday that I had this exam today. This exam is so much and it has been for the past two years because I've done it twice already. It has been so much and I know it's a lot and you literally can start studying on, on a Monday or find out on a Monday. When I started studying I felt pretty confident because normally I just like crashing stuff in my head trying to put it in there but now I really understood like the whole everything <laughs> i felt like but i wasn't in enough time so i didn't go through all the lectures but what i studied i thought i knew quite well um of course they would ask questions from the lectures i didn't do and then i flipped the page and there was this thing that i remembered from the last two exams and i was like fuck i completely forgot to study that and that was like one of the most annoying things i've always thought well that was not a good sentence i don't know where i'm going but <sighs> I just really, really hope for a 5.5, but I don't think so. Afterwards, Martina and I did some groceries, so I finally have food in my house. <laughs> There's not much in it. Ooh, I bought some drinks and let's see, the beer and that was over in the jet. Oh my god, my uncle gave this to me from Denmark, but I can't open it. It's really annoying, but we bought some dinner for tonight, so we're gonna make some pasta, cheese, and and this and the bread it looks like i only bought chips this is not the case honestly but i bought chips and like cassava stuff wraps pasta sauce pasta um like crusty stuff yeah <laughs> bought some frozen fruit obviously that's not in here bought soup tuna corn tomato stuff olives yeah fun currently making dinner I'm really excited for this pasta, but I just put a tomato in my mouth and fucked up my white shirt. I'm not wearing it white anymore. Yes, October. It's currently 12 a.m. I'm still studying Spanish, and I will 
be studying Spanish for a long time. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun night. I have to wake up pretty early as well, but I just really want to pass this exam. But of course, I started way too late. I hate myself. Okay, guys, it's 1.30 right now, so we're gonna look like this. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go sleep. And then wake up at either 6 or 6.30. So I can study some more. My exam is at 10. <sighs> the struggle. I just want to get, I just want to pass. I'm normally really good at Spanish. It's just really like a lot and I didn't start early enough. <sighs> Why am I like this? Why? Hey guys, I didn't really vlog or I didn't vlog yesterday. That was because after my exam, my Spanish exam, which I don't really want to talk about, honestly. Uh, um, I just felt super, super tired because that night I only had like four hours of sleep. Um, Basically, after my exam, I got home back to my room, then just packed up some stuff and left to go back to my parents' house, where I am right now for the weekend, for, for at least today, basically. I'm going back tomorrow. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to a family birthday. My uncle turned 50, I think, two weeks ago. No, that's not true, last week. <laughs> um, so he's gonna throw a big party, because you know, when you're 50, you're, you met... Um, Abraham. So yeah, that's where we're going right now. I have my cocktail shirt on, which is from Zara, and yeah, let's go. shiny face i honestly don't know what's going on i woke up this morning saw how red i was kind of started crying <laughs> no but i just hope this will be over tomorrow because tomorrow will be my first day back to school yes guys today was the last day of my summer holiday well technically uh, it wasn't because this week i already had resets and stuff like that but tomorrow will be the first day of the new academic year of my freaking final year of college which is so weird um i'm currently in breda where i study martina and i got here by train and it took us three hours instead of the one and a half because there was so much like pff, male functions going on <laughs> it was really annoying but now i'm here i'm having some tea from this mug because i really need this right now <laughs> shit i still have to come up with an outfit to wear tomorrow but I'm just trying to get my life on order. I'm gonna make a little to-do list. I have my laptops here. I need to get like my camera. I need to like empty it because tomorrow morning I'm gonna film a get ready with me. That's why my tripod is here. Hopefully that won't scare me in the middle of the night. But yeah, I'm kind of excited. Kind of not at all. But we'll see how it goes. Um, I just really hope my face will get better because this is not something I want to show on my first day back to school. And I don't wear foundation. I don't even have foundation. So I don't know how to, to cover this up. So that's going to be a struggle. <laughs> it's currently 11.40. My roommates are also in bed. So I don't know if they're sleeping already. That's why I'm talking so quietly. Uh, but yeah. Yesterday was quite fun. My uncle's birthday. And... We got home at like 2, which is annoying because I was trying to get a normal sleeping rhythm 
but it's all fine because I'm pretty tired now, so it's good. Um, tomorrow I actually start at 1. I was supposed to start at 11, but they changed my schedule. I'm not complaining about that. <laughs> then I have enough time to just take my time for the video. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog, guys. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't hear. <laughs> it's free. And I will see you in my next vlog. Bye, guys.